When you find a Christian who has become mature, he doesn't live his life spontaneously. You can literally draw a curve around the way he lives his life. You can draw a curve. And that curve can be maintained for 10 years. After 10 years, you will find that believer, that practice is still kept. It's a sign that he has grown in the spirit. His body does not dictate for him. His environment does not dictate to him. He dictates to his body and to his environment. Jesus has principles. In Hebrews chapter 6, Paul was speaking from verse 1. He said, therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrines of Christ, let us go unto maturity or unto perfection, not laying again the foundations of repentance from dead works or faith towards God, go ahead, or of the doctrines of baptism or laying on of hands or resurrection or eternal judgment. He said, for us to go into maturity, we must first of all pass through the principles of Christ. If there is no principle, godly principle around your life, to a very large extent, you are a babe. Find any mature believer. His life is lived based on principle. Check your life. If you wake up on Monday, there is nothing about your Monday that resembles your Tuesday. There's nothing about your Tuesday that resembles your Wednesday. There's nothing about your Wednesday that resembles your Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Every day has you doing different things. You have not yet grown. When you grow, you will start seeing patterns in your life. Patterns. You will start seeing consistency in your life. When you grow, you will start tracing certain things that are identical. You don't wake up in the morning to pray because they say morning devotion. When I was young, I hated 5 a.m. in the morning. Because around 5 a.m., that's when the wind becomes flawless. That's when you start experiencing some level of freshness. All the sweat you were enduring at night. Early in the morning, when the wind becomes cold, they will now tap you. When you wake up, you will hear in the parlor, Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Those days, I will be so angry. It will look as if, I, leave me alone. Must I pray every day? You will now come and then you will go and sit far. I will sit far from my mom because what they will do is when they are singing, they will now stop singing and whether you are still there. If you sleep, they will tap you. Jesus. Anger will fill you up. And then to make this worse, they will now say, because when the prayer, when the song is about to end, everybody will be calm. Your heart will start beating. You will now hear your name. Pray today. <laughs> you will act as if you did. Pray today. In Jesus' name. The name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for which morning? Morning that you are angry. <laughs> but today, the moment you wake up, Kako raki baka sagatali adida kabakira paragata and zaza 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 raki baro tekira paradas zeketa liga parakira zandekeba. Nobody needs to tap you anymore. When you pray, 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 you carry your Bible. Sometimes before I stand up from bed, I read a whole book of the Bible. A whole book. What would have taken me one month to read before? There is capacity in your spirit. Capacity. Sometimes, even at night, while you are waking, the stirring of the spirit is too strong. You will wake up and you will go to another room. You lie on the floor or you walk around. You will chew tongues for two hours. Then you will come back and sleep. As you sleep, the moment is 5.30. That alarm woke you up. You know why? When your mother was slapping you, she was downloading something. She was installing something. It's called the power of principles. I can tell you by every authority that some of us are here today because we have godly mothers. 
every other person that mentored me in secondary if my mother did not invest in me trust me i would have been a charlatan today i would have been wayward today if there is any mortal person that has the right to take the glory for my life is my mother every other person is secondary everybody who imparted me imparted me because i went to meet them and the reason i went to them was because my mother put something in me that made me to become a seeker and so i kept searching god searching god in myself i would not have done that i hated it but the excellency of principles is manifested in that it transforms your life and brings out the glory of god and so whether you like a principle or not do it the power of principle and the excellency of principle is not your appreciation of it is the capacity it has to sustain your life and to bring something out of you that even yourself is not aware.